Good morning. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Baska Tutorial. Today, I'm going to teach you computer science of class 5. And the topic is classification of computers. So, let's start. So, this chapter, we are going to learn the different types of computer. So, the first question arises in my mind is why computer are classified in diff different categories so you see computer are classified in different categories according to purpose data handling and functionality or on the data processing abilities so this is the very easiest definition why computer have been classified into different categories so all the computers are not same in size or the for working purpose or data handling so that is why the computer has been classified into different categories so let's go so let's see what's the type of computers so i have classified here computer are divided on the basis of size on the basis of data on the basis of brand and the basis of purpose so you see here on the basis of size what are the computers on the basis of size there are microcomputers mini computers mainframe computer and supercomputer as you all know what are these computers so all this uh, work and function of this micro mini mainframe and supercomputer are different and uh, you see here on the basis of data there are three different computers they are analog computer digital and hybrid computer on the basis of brand there is ibm computer or apple or mac and on the basis of purpose there are two purpose simple we say that general purpose that we commonly use and there is specific purpose which a specific person can use or are using that is specific purpose next Let's see what are the types of computer according to functionality. So you see here, <coughs> sorry, here what are the work of computer according to functionality. Now we gave here this the basis of data. So this functionality analog computer. What is analog computer? It's a form of computer which uses continuous physical phenomena such as electrical mechanical or hydraulic quantities and what is digital it is a computer that operates with numbers expressed directly as digit that is called binary digit or bin number you can call and uh, since computer have two sorry since computer have a uh, language that is called binary language and that is zero and one so what is hybrid Hybrid is a combination. It's very easy hybrid. All the uh, analog, digital and hybrid are easy. But uh, you see, sorry, here, this uh, hybrid computer is the combination of analog and digital computer, which is capable of inputting and outputting in digital and analog signal. So this hybrid computer work is combination of this analog and digital computer as you see here i have given a small and beautiful picture of analog computer digital computer and what computer is this don't say it laptop computer you please tell me in the comment what is the name of this computer next are types of computer on the basis of size so i have already told you there are different sizes of the computer and uh, according to size they have different work so first let's study what is supercomputer so you see a supercomputer is the fastest computer in the world that can progress process a significant amount of data very quickly the computing performance of a supercomputer is measured very high as compared to general purpose computer that means the uh, supercomputer we don't use the public sorry the common people we don't use it is used in the it is used uh, for weather forecasting or rocket shuttle or any different and high purposes and here i have given the characteristic of supercomputer and they are they can support more than 100 users at a time first characteristic 
since there are many characteristics of the supercomputer or all the different type of computer i have given you only the three per characteristics so you see many individual can access supercomputer at the same time and the last the these are the most expensive computer that have ever been made so it is true that supercomputer is very expensive no one can simple person cannot afford and basically it's not uh, allowed to uh, allowed by the government also the next you see mainframe computer mainframe what is mainframe computer so mainframe are the type of computer that are generally are known for the large size amount of storage processing power and high abilities of reliability they are primarily used by large organization for mission critical application required high volume of data processing so uh, both the mainframe and the supercomputer are very uh, what it, what it is large in size but uh, comparing now let's uh, i will compare and show you supercomputer is much more faster than mainframe computer so but the mainframe is not so faster as supercomputer it's smaller in size comparing to supercomputer also so and uh, both the work is different the mainframe and supercomputer so let's see the characteristic of supercomputer sorry mainframe computer here also i have given the three characteristic first one they have a high processing speed but less than supercomputer which i have already mentioned you they can support many users at a time and the last they can be used to carry out complex data processing operations so these are the three characteristic of super sorry mainframe computer now let's see the last one is mini computer so it is a system that has been immediate between sorry intermediate between a micro and mainframe computer in size and capabilities so mini computers uh, like you can call our PC or laptop or desktop you can see that also and in mini computer again there are different parts like a handheld computer that is called mobile or tablet or many other thing many other are there so let's see the characteristic of mini computer so it is smaller in size and it is less powerful than supercomputer or mainframe computer and it is used by small what enterprises so these are the three characteristic of mini computer let's see now the beautiful picture and you will understand very clearly all the three computer system you see this is the mini computer i gave you a handheld that is mobile device and this is mainframe computer don't uh, think that it is bigger than supercomputer okay this is much bigger than mainframe computer so supercomputer is the largest than all the three different type of computer and uh, all have different works okay all have different works so i hope you all understood very nicely now before going i will give you some work that uh, you can comment and tell me so name the first supercomputer mainframe computer and mini computer these are the three small work i have given you so let's see who will do it